for this year, something new that I would like to delve into is investing. Because as I have mentioned, dance is a passion and um, profession and I'm probably never gonna get rich with it. So I want to be able to make the most of my um, money, of the limited <laughs> money that I am getting from dance. And also, it would be really nice to be able to have more money, to have the freedom to travel and everything. And like, I, I've, uh, I've gotten around with um, budget tra traveling. I, I'm really good at finding ways to cut, cut some costs and stuff. And I, I would love to have a taste of the luxury of flying business of first class from time to time. I don't know. I mean, there's nothing wrong with economics. I, I'm, I'm small, so it's plenty of space for me. And um, yeah, I want more than last for really. But yeah, I would like to see what it would be like to experience that kind of luxury. And apart from that, it would be nice to one day try a Michelin starfish as a big foodie. So yeah, that's something I, I am looking forward to if I'm able to. Um, optimize my income in terms of uh, my personal development. I want to become a less apologetic person. I want to be able to own my confidence and I want to own my identity. I want to be able to be more confident about stepping out of my comfort zone or at least to be more in terms with my lack of confidence. Like to still be able to go for something that I want to go for even when I don't feel confident and do it with um, enthusiasm and without regret or without a, without a care in the world without caring how people will receive it and um, yeah that would be so good like, I, I want to be able to do that but most importantly of all I, I just want to keep on progressing on the path of bettering myself as a dancer, as a human being and um, ultimately I just want to be the best version that I can be at this time and I just want 2021 to be a happy year. One other thing I would also like to do this year is, you see my hair, it's really long and I've been growing it out for a while. I mean, I couldn't cut it since everything was closed and usually I only get my hair cut when I'm back in Thailand. It's so difficult to manage. But yeah, I, I've, been, um, I've been thinking about donating my hair. But I'll definitely have to research into it because I'm not sure how that works. Also, I really want to work on... I think it's really evident that I am a very not articulate person. Already from that sentence alone, you can tell that. So I want to become a more coherent speaker. I want to be able to um, articulate my thoughts and express myself in a more articulate and coherent way. And I think that has to stem from my brain where maybe I have to become more specific with everything. <laughs> like with my thought process, my opinions, my likes and dislikes, my intentions, goal setting, I have to be more specific about that. Like I can't just say, I just want to get better. I need to be more specific, otherwise it's not attainable. And yeah, so that is definitely something I am looking to work on. For certain, yeah. Um. To meet more people from around the world and see the latest videos, follow Citizens of Seoul.